My, 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 I can't believe it's Wednesday afternoon once again here, AM 1410, WR Men in Elgin. The show that allows you to lose weight fast, get rich quick, and look young forever. My favorite show of all time, the Laura Diva Jones Show. Laura Dion Jones, how are you doing this afternoon? I'm hot, but wonderful. Is it hot outside? I haven't beyond, had a chance to go outside Beyond, beyond, disgusting. Today. It's like Las Vegas oh, with humidity. Really? You know what? I have something quickly to tell you. Um... Everybody wants to learn the secrets to become wildly wealthy fast. Uh -huh. Well, in a few weeks, we have Sandy Forster, who is an Australian author, and she wrote a book called Become Wildly Wealthy Fast, and she is going to be a guest on our show. Really? Yes, and I will we'll post it on the Internet and Facebook and stuff when I know for sure when she's coming on, because she's if she's not going to be on tour in the U.S., then she's going to have to do it via phone. Can we call Australia? Maybe Wait, the tomorrow. boss frown on it? No. Okay. <laughs> and otherwise, it's like going to be three or four or five in the morning there, but she's agreed to do it. She really wants to do it because okay. she loves the show and she loves the name of the show, and we'll have a whole audience in Australia. Fantastic. Open up. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. So for everybody who wants to know how to get rich quick and have been waiting, we are going to have how to become wildly wealthy. That's, that's wonderful. Isn't that cool? Absolutely. So listen, we want to thank today's sponsors. Again, Larry Allen, give us the lowdown there. Allen and Son Seal Coating, nicely said there, on the Barbie, in this case, for our Australian friends. Yeah. A trusted area resource for all your asphalt and asphalt maintenance needs, we might add. You know, give them a call. You know, this time of year, you're thinking about, hey, that driveway just needs a refurbishing. Why don't you call them? You know the number. I don't have to tell you that. It's 847-980-6914, Allen and Son. And you know something? Winter's yeah. coming, so I would be sealing my driveway for She's winter. She's a weather forecaster as well. You're like Ginger Z suddenly. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I should only look like Ginger Z. I'm looking Ginger Z's older sister. You're on radio. You do. Oh, yes, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, tell us about Dr. Claire Oleo. So I would be happy to do that. <clears throat> before I lost my voice, <clears throat> I had a good back and a bad back. No, because Dr. Claire Oleus took care of that. You know how she is. You've seen her. She's I been on the show. I see her every three weeks. Oh, that is such an endorsement right there. If you need a retouching of the back, you know, that just order, you know, the spinal cord, whatever it might be, just chiropractic care. You call Dr. Claire, almost rhymes, 847-888-9988. Now, her office conveniently located on Elgin's west side, beautiful location, 2001 Larkin Avenue. You You're can right. find that on the map. That's correct. So give her a call, 847-888-9988. Dr. Claire, Olates. For all your chiropractic needs. And Snobhound's Canine Clothing Company, again, think Nike meets Donna Karen, but for canines. And Casey Tool, an automotive specialty tool company. And in the studio with us today are my board man and cohort, Mike Hunziker. Oh, he's not board, that's technical talk for you. At board home. man. Did you mention why? The why? Did we go to the why? <gasps> Do we have to go Give to us the quickly. The oh, YMCA. my heavens. August is not quite yes. half over, almost. Almost. Not quite. Summer's really flying by, and this Friday is August 13th. <laughs> but yes. that's no my good luck day. Yes. My it good luck day. Good Thirteen luck is my good luck number, really? and when it falls on Friday the thirteenth, it's exceptionally good luck, especially if you're part Italian. So go ahead, continue. Right. Why well, now We feel secure. <laughs> go out of the house. Don't stay home as expected because you're headed for the Y, because they're now registering for their after wonderful school programs. You young school kids out there, and I'm looking at you specifically. You want a place to go after school. What could be better? for the preschool and kindergarten folks. They had a great enrichment series right there as well, elementary school. Whatever your school care needs are, <clears throat> they will take care of you. Because I'm the cameraman today, I'm doing this. They will take care of you right there at the Y. The YMCA at 50 North McLean. McLean. McLean? McLean. McLean, whatever. Yeah, I'm getting a yes on McLean, but we traditionally go with McLean. But we'll go either way. Call them for directions. Phone number 847-888-7410. That's the YMCA. And my co-host, Jeff Myers, thank you for that great announcement. And let's see, we have another jam-packed show, so once again, i got to get rattling. And you know I've had caffeine, so I'm going to be talking real fast. We want to welcome back uh, our special guest in no particular order, Nick Faruqi of Fighting Chance Women's Self-Defense He's now a regular. He now holds the record. Three times, yes, that I attended. I attended his awesome seminar this past Saturday at Spring Hill, and he's stopping in for a few because we want to go over a few things that I think will be of interest to the listeners. And then there's a name. A lot of you ladies will know from all my children, Jackson Montgomery is going to be here with us today. A real live yes. soap opera star. Walt, Willie, he wow. will join us shortly, actually, in and two minutes. Yes. 
and he's in town. He's doing a big gig this weekend at all three Zanies tomorrow night on Wells, but he'll tell us about that. And then the Elgin resident, Bill Martins of Cardinal, Cardinal Moving Services, will be here to wrap things up with some helpful advice about stress-free moving almost painlessly with Cardinal, Cardinal, like That's the good. bird. Dr. Cardinal, Claire, the Cardinal can take Moving care. Services, y'all need red shirts. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's going to give us some tips too on how to move those kids to college stress free, if you can imagine. And then Elton's Got Talent segment on Laura the Jones show last week was a big hit. And even if it wasn't your type of music, you had to appreciate oh, the talent. Oh gosh, you were great. And you were great at the Elgin Public House as well, Dave Sutton and the troops. Thank you. They were tremendous. We had a great time. We now are touring. We're touring with uh, Walt Willie. We'll be in Macomb two weeks from today. We're touring. Did I make this up? You made this Oh, up. come on now. Dave Sutton, Quote Walt of the week. <laughs> quote of the week. All right, let's Hold hear your it. tongue there, young man. No, I'll try. All Listen, right. who said, few things are needed to make a wise man happy. Nothing can make a fool content. That is why most men are miserable. Uh, we know this. Well, Nick and, and Mike, we got this. Casey Stingle, 1963, New York Mets. You know what? You're right. <laughs> no, <laughs> France. This is a guy from uh, who lived in the 1600s. Oh, well, they don't French count. French classical you... writer, not a French classical ball player. There's no record of recording Francois of him. Francois de la so. Rochewald. Right. Anyway. Rochewald. Rochewald. Let me give you a real quick joke and then we'll move on. All right. Are you ready? Is there a joke time for this? Is this Walt Willie's honor? Are, we, are you uh, going to Zanies? Are you opening act at Zanies? I'm going to open at Zanies for Walt Willie. All right. Okay. A 54-year-old woman had a heart attack and was taken to the hospital. While on the operating table, she had a near-death experience. Seeing God, she asked, is my time up? God said, no, you have another 43 years, two months, and eight days to live. Upon recovery, the woman decided to stay in the hospital and have a facelift, liposuction, breast implants, and tummy tuck. Why not? That's right. A girl after my own heart. <laughs> she, even had some come, she even had someone come in and change her hair color and brighten her teeth. Since she has had so much more time to live, she figured she might as well make the most of it. After her last operation, she was released from the hospital, and while crossing the street on her way home, she was killed by an ambulance. <sighs> Arriving in front of God, she demanded, I thought you said I had another 43 years. Why did you pull me out from the path of the ambulance? God replied, shoot, woman, I didn't recognize you. Uh, that's great. That's not a joke. That's a short story. That's yes, okay. So we have some real surprises uh, in this week's EBL standings, too, but I'm sworn to secrecy. Should I say who's the first place? Okay. Once again, Megan Smengi is in first place. And Mike, you know, I to know where you are. Well, I don't know where I am. He's now injured. 24, you're in the middle of the pack. Oh, the middle you of the are pack. in the middle and of the pack. And he's suffering an injury telling the class, so that cuts down on his workout ability. I have, I have tried to, uh, I will be weighing heavier this week than I did last week because I have an extra poundage or so on my arm. <gasps> did you make him weigh the cast before they put it no, in? No, I didn't. Oh, I made him weigh the, my knee implant before they put it in me. Oh, really? Yes, I did. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, real quick, on a, on a different note, I'm supposed to be golfing in an Elgin Area Chamber of Commerce golf outing tomorrow. Maybe and not. I, I am more upset and more beside myself than I've ever been in the last three years. And I've quit smoking, mind you, and I've gained some weight and I'm not unhappy about that. I work at WR Men, uh, the top three stressors in my life. I've never been more disappointed with myself than not being able to participate in tomorrow's golf outing at the Highlands. So. Can't you do it with one hand? Um, well, I've, I've been uh, given the permission to putt. I can do the putt. Wow. Oh, good. But you have Diva replace you. I was going to say, you should have a ringer. What do they call it, a second when they come no, in? No, you, because it'd be, yeah. Do you know what I Nick, mean? Nick, can you golf? Yeah. Uh, and Stand how did in. I break my head? I, I, I punched Nick in the arm, and this is what happens when you punch solid rock well, with your you hand. <laughs> happens. <laughs> I've tried. I okay. Left a message. Oh, you did. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna ring his neck. Mm -hmm. Oh, Erica's gonna ring his neck. I, we are gonna sick. I Erica wasn't gonna go there. Well, I really? wasn't gonna go there. Yeah. Your, your okay. guest is around the corner again. Okay. Big star. All my children. Kathy, if you're listening. <clears throat> anyway, since Nick is here, yeah. then got go on with the show, right? <laughs> Nick Faruqi of Ballistic Fighting Methods Women's Self Defense Class is back, so we can dish a little bit about his wonderful Fighting Chance Women's Self Defense Class seminar that was last Saturday at Spring Hill Gym, and I thought it was a great experience. And, um, you know, what did I enjoy most about the seminar, you asked? Yeah. Everything. Everything. You want to know why? I do. Um, I especially love being the odd girl because I had more of a one-on-one -on -one lesson with Kevin. One of your, he's an ex-Marine, and he's one of your trainers, is he not? Uh, yeah, Kevin and Tim, both are instructors, both under me. Unbelievable. Yeah. He was Especially very... Especially thanks to them, guys. They, they took time out of their own day to come on out and be a part of that, you know. I was seminar. impressed that you had some several instructors there. Oh, looking for Walt. You know, different people have different needs, so I, I want to make sure that I have the appropriate staff to make sure everybody gets the personal attention that they need. 
and you know something you did too and I, he gave me he was very um, sensitive to my special needs more than I think a stranger would have been stranger meaning if I had been paired up with some of the other girls and sure. plus you know you had to do different things and different exercises and I was worried about my knees and back and I really didn't need to be um, can I ask you a favor the best that I can so listen um, I don't want to cut you short, but Walt's got to be in a car at 3.30 because okay. he's going to go on. Can I say who he's going to go on at 4 o'clock? Rokan. Rokan at 4 I am Rokan's double. So I am, we're, we got him before Rokan got him. How does this sound, Rokan and Laura Dion? That's cute. Yeah, that's nice. Kind of, huh? Listen, Not nice bad. So listen, I'm going to go switch back to Walt, if you don't mind. You no, wouldn't take I'm, offense. I'm here. I'm here. Whatever, whatever you need. Thank you very much. Okay. Walt, are you with us? We're fine. We're fine. I was, you know, for a minute there, I had palpitations of the heart, but what can I tell you? Well, because I wanted to get you... Yeah, you know, I wanted to get you in and make sure we got some uh, some airtime with you because I know a lot of people are anxious to hear uh, all about your life and what's going on, on, you know, in your soap and why you're in Chicago and stuff like that. And for well, we better get soon, huh? That's right. So for those of us who don't know, where are you from exactly? Ottawa. Uh, originally, yeah. I'm born and raised in Ottawa, Illinois. <laughs> We have a big fan here, and he is my co-host, Jeff Myers, and he hey, is... Hey, Jeff. Hey. Uh, Do you know him? You did know? you ever meet him? No, but I, I did a, a, a okay. phone interview with Palmer a number of years ago and uh, uh, on, oh, from your great James squad, so and you know, you're, it, you, you know, Ryan from the show was just about four miles away from us when West Dundee was the neighborhood of the country. One of your stars from the show, Ryan, I forget his acting name, but Ryan in the oh, show. Oh, uh, well, what do you, do you mean? Uh, you tell me. You tell me what. Well, yeah, mean? yeah, he was right here in town. Yeah, he, sure. he was just up the street from us uh, just about two Fridays ago. So that was exciting yeah, for he's, us. He's a busy boy. He's he is. He's on every show. He's just like you. And we're, we're so delighted you're doing... time on the road, yeah. And you doing comedy. I'm going to get you back to uh, Laura, but you doing comedy is wonderful, sir. That's great. I know you did that earlier in your career, so for you to do that again is... You've got our endorsement on that. You know, I really didn't. I actually started the comedy after I started the, the uh, show. Soap, in the late 80s? Yeah. Eight, well, 87, 89, that's earlier in your career. This man prides himself on that's his early statistics. Early in my career. That yeah, early, 87. You're still a young that's man. before my time. Yeah. 87. I was still a young man, yeah. I was too young to appreciate. No, I wasn't, but I was young enough to be foolish enough to start something like comedy. That's great, though. That's so listen, Walt, how did you get into the soaps? How did you get into the soaps? Inquiring minds well, want to know. The soaps, I guess, kind of the same way everybody does. You're in New York, you're looking for a job uh, acting, and you want one that pays something. And you can stay and at home. in New York in those days, that was... Uh, that was daytime. I mean, you could labor for many, many weeks in a little 99-seat black box <laughs> making one day what you made on a soap. So it was a pretty uh, pretty obvious choice for someone who actually wanted to make a living. And Walt, when, when the show moved to Los Angeles this year after 40 years, what did that mean to you? That had to change your life well, a little bit. When, it, when they announced the move, it didn't mean much because I wasn't actually on the show then. I left last June. Um, Why'd you leave? Did they... For did they kill you well, off? They weren't writing. No, no, no. They didn't do that. They they just weren't writing for the character. We had a head writer who just it was just kind of you couldn't if, you know with a well written soap script you should be able to erase the names above the lines and tell who's saying them. <laughs> and by the time this guy got done, you couldn't tell who was who anymore. He yeah. had characters doing things that they never would do and you know so viewers so fans they're very they follow things very closely and they they're very loyal i and know they that are not repeat what they are oh, i'm sorry i thought you said Hold no on. no no they are not repeat <laughs> what uh, they, they, they are not stupid and they know when a character is doing something out of character and uh, he just was writing things that didn't make any sense and I had an option and I took it and a few months later they let him go and, and uh, hired me after they had uh, made the uh, move to Los Angeles. Wow. Well, hot dog. No, I'm, I'm thrilled to be out there. I love right. it out there. How, I, how do you handle I'm Hollywood life? I'm not a fan of New York. You're not a fan of well, New York? Hollywood life. Mm. How do I was you... never a big fan of New York ever. 